Okay, uh, hopefully you can hear me over the engine. Um, this is a, a 1972 Jeep CJ5. Um, actually in really good shape, but definitely take a look at the rest of the videos and photos. Uh, see and see it for yourself. Uh, this is a test drive video. I like to do these in all my my listings that I do on switch and vehicles because at the end of the day, most of the time with a vehicle, the most important thing is that it a, runs uh, runs smoothly. You know, you're not having a monkey with it, especially on something like this where it's a little bit older. And then um, on top of that, that it drives. So this is going to be a difficult video because it is an old vehicle. Uh, it's an awesome old vehicle, but it is old and it's going to be very difficult for me to hold this video, this camera up. Normally I have somebody with me and unfortunately I do not. So um, I'm going to do the best I can and um, just bear with me on it and we'll go with what we have. I do these videos so you can see uh, almost as if you were here in person to test drive something uh, and whatnot. So uh, this is a 1972 CJ5. It's um, kind of a rare CJ5 because of some of the stuff it has. You're hearing this nice purr of a motor. That's a V8 304 that came stock in this year. A lot of cool things they did with the V8s that you got in this, this particular model uh, that you didn't find in the six cylinders. Um, and it's in good shape. I mean, it's there's a, virtually a rust-free frame and tub. Um, still some meat on the tire, well, a lot of meat on the tires. And, and the biggest thing is it's obviously running now, it's idling, I'm not giving it any gas or anything. Um, and not only does it run, it runs really, really good. It starts right up. Um, and um, I think that's about it. Um, I'll, I'll, like again, I'll go over it more in detail uh, with, um, with my other videos in my description as well. But uh, I think you'll be very happy with it. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to keep this Jeep for myself, but uh, I own a Wrangler parts yard, as you can see over here. And um, it's a, I can't keep everything I come across. Let's just put it that way. I come across a lot of cool things I would love to keep, but uh, I instead I do these listings for most of my customers. And you know, most of my customers become my friends, and that's in this case. Um, so, uh, you know, that's kind of the situation with it. But anyway, so we're gonna go here, and it's gonna get really loud, so I'm not gonna really be able to talk over the engine. Um, just, you know, things to look for if you if, if I'm bouncing around, because it's probably gonna be a little bouncy, is just, you can really hear this engine open up. It's a very, very quick little Jeep. Obviously, it's not built for speed, but with this big old engine and this little itty bitty Jeep in it, and it, it, it's all torque, it's all uh, gears. There's not a lot of top end speed in it, which you don't need, but man, this thing would crawl right up, straight up a, a, a building or a mountain or whatever else. So, um, and I'll try to get it, you know, somewhat somewhat up there and I can safely, but, um, and, you know, we'll just go from there. So, uh, on a quick note real quick, and I'll do some of these interior. I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan does work. Um, you can see it actually here. Obviously, it takes it down. That's the mitt. Uh, so the voltage um, that obviously obviously works there. And then this is your temp and your defroster and um, your air max. I mean, this is very simplistic. It's 1972, so keep that in mind. But uh, you know, but then again, it's very. I think it's kind of impressive that something like this does. So I can really hear this. So, and it shifts good, everything else is up here. Let's see. I gotta remember. There we go. The reverse is up, up, not, it's kind of where first is, and it kind of throws me, because I'm used to driving the five speed so much, but. Let's see if I can not hit these pallets over here, that would be good. Now here's I'm gonna have to kind of put this phone down. It's just it, it's just not gonna be uh, until I get going. Maybe a little bit I can back up. So. Bit of 
tweaks you'll have to do here and there, but for somebody who's looking either A as a prize or just go cruise around on a Sunday, you're definitely uh, you're definitely a good platform to go with. So you can hear that. Still the tires, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm turning it around here. And I'm in um, that second right there. So it's just a three speed. Uh, Is this 304? I mean, it's a lot of it is the carburetor has got a wrong gear. It's that reverse gear. Right? about this Jeep is it fires up quicker than my newer fuel injection and this is a big old carburetor on this thing so but you'll see that later it's got a lot of cool things on on that it's fairly stock but it's got some caseable upgrades on it that I think somebody will be really pleased with so and uh, yeah that's gonna wrap it up for my uh, my test drive video if you have any questions comments about that uh, feel free to email me text me or call me and uh, we'll just go from there. So I appreciate you watching my video, 720-987-8772.